One of the most common modifications WRX and STI owners will make to their car is add some sort of protection for their paint, aka mud guards. There's a lot of crap on the roads that you'd like to keep off the side of your car, and there's a lot of different options out there. And uh, one of the easiest choices to make is typically rally armor. These have been around for a long time, there's lots of different colors and styles and options, but very few of them actually see any sort of punishment or, you know, rallying. In this case, Rally Cross. This is my 2016 WRX STI that I compete in Rally Cross with occasionally. And I figured this was a good opportunity to pit the traditional Rally armors, which have served me well, but have not exactly been perfect, um, and check and see how they go up against the new kit on the block. Now, I'm going to be uninstalling the Rally armors that have been on my car since it was new in 2016. And um, considering that these were around $200 and that the competition is just slightly over that, I think this is a fairly good comparison to make. And that competition is Vermont Sports Car. They have uh, recently released a VSC performance lineup that is directly taken from their motorsports division. Uh, these are high quality parts, seemingly very robust, and uh, they've gone up against a lot of rally punishment because Vermont Sports Car manages Subaru Motorsports USA and their championship winning rally car. So I figured this is a good time to take off the old set and kind of get a refresher for how things install, or in this case, uninstall. One of the great things about Rally Armor is that they are admittedly very user-friendly to install. They, are, they can be a little bit finicky to try and line up and get them just right in terms of the angle at the end of the day, but even without removing the wheels on the car, it's typically pretty simple to just toss on a set of these. They're tried and true, there's tons of different styles and all that, and they tend to do quite well. Mine have held up relatively well, even though a couple of them have fallen off before. Um, they've never broken to the point where I can't just retrieve them and put them back on. The hardware has held up very well, considering that I live in a state where the car sees seasonal use uh, year-round, and there's all sorts of snow and crap on the ground. And even after a slight cleaning without putting too much elbow grease into it, they still clean up quite well. So I'm impressed with how these rally armors have stood up over the test of time. Because you can install these with the wheel still on, I do recommend getting some sort of tool that can fit between the wheel and the fender well. This will come in handy quite a bit. Opening things up on the Vermont sports car package, I always love their packaging. Uh, I've had several of their products and they're always great. But uh, just right off the bat, you'll notice that the Vermont sports car ones are thicker, noticeably thicker than the rally armors that are coming off the car. And uh, for good reason, this is the same thickness on the Vermont sports car mud flaps that you can get that they run on the actual rally cars. So if the rally armors that I've had have held up this well over the last seven years, I'm more than confident that the Vermont sports car stuff could last even longer and be more robust. Speaking of that, the hardware that's included with the Vermont sports car stuff is also very robust. Um, everything's metal, there's no plastics in here, whereas the rally armor stuff is admittedly easier to work with, and you could probably install it with those simple tools that I had recommended before. Because the Vermont sports car stuff is much more robust, you're probably going to want power tools and probably going to want to have the wheels off the car to be able to properly install these. Um, nothing bad about it, it's just... The time needed to install is just a little bit longer than what you would have on the more pedestrian rally armors, just because the hardware itself is a little bit more robust, and um, especially some of the points that you're going to need to access. Uh, speaking of that, the Vermont Sports Car Kit does reuse one of the factory OEM clips, and uh, in my case, one of them was missing and the other one was in not so good shape, so I highly recommend before going in to install this, either picking up new ones or making sure that yours are still there and still in good shape. Because uh, again, if your car is seven years old like mine or older, or you've just been doing a lot with it, these plastic clips can get really beat up and it can be a weak point of the kit since it relies on this piece to be reinstalled. The rest of the components in here are again, very nice. I do like how they've separated stuff out. It's very professional looking. You get these cool little VSC bags as goodies afterwards. 
um, so you don't mix things up as well. They've got them labeled in separate front and rear bags. The hardware is very nice and form-fitted exactly to the car. I didn't have any fitment issues whatsoever. The rear ones are even curved, so that way they follow the curve of the inner fender well. So everything fits like a glove. It's all very professional feeling. Um, the install was a breeze. Again, a little bit more involved than the Rally Armor install, but not certainly anything that was a problem, especially since the PDF instructions that you get online are very clear and include photos. I keep saying that this kit is robust, and it is, but then as a result, do not rely on just using hand tools for most of this. You'll A, probably want to take the wheels off to do most of this install, and um, just be prepared to have to put a little more elbow grease into installing this, but the finished product is flawless and I'm very happy with the fitment without really having to finagle around with anything else. Like their other products that I've gotten before, the Vermont Sports Car Mud Flaps um, impressed me. They had OEM fit and finish and I'm really happy with how they fit on the car. They're already doing their job um, even after just some light driving. Mud flaps in general are a good idea, whether it's the rally armors or these Vermont sports car mud flaps, but I wanted to take this a step further and check and see how these actually do in terms of protecting the car, in this case, my 2016 Hyper Blue STI, out having some fun. These aren't exactly muddy conditions that I tested them in, but it's been dry for weeks and still they've done everything I wanted them to in terms of keeping gravel and rocks and such off the side of the car and making sure that it still cleans up great for car shows. And that's what most people get mud guards for anyways. So which one do you go with? There's again, lots of great options. And between the two that I've had experience with, I see plenty of different types of Rally armors, different colors, different options, um, different like body styles that they're available for that the Vermont sports car ones just don't have. So for most of your daily use and just for keeping general crap off of your car's paint, they do a great job. At the end of the day, if you need something a little more robust than what the rally armors can handle, given what you've seen they can handle here, then yeah, go with the Vermont sports car mud flaps. Uh, they're fantastically made. Um, they're really not that much more than the rally armors and you're getting a very sturdy product. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff and stay tuned for more.